What is up, boyos? It's been a while since I've done one of these. This is a car review. And in fact, I've only done two of these. Uh, but the, the initial plan was always to do more of them. Uh, this is what I call a car review. Uh, and, and the idea of it was always, you know, I, I go see a movie either opening night or I just go to the theater. And then once I get out of the theater in my car, I would do a quick review. Um, obviously, things haven't gone out. They haven't happened quite like that, you know, due to the whole uh, pandemic. I don't know if you've heard about it or not. Um, so, you know, there hasn't been movie releases. There hasn't been, you know, anything really to talk about. Um, but I decided, you know what? Uh, they just dropped this movie called Palm Springs starring Andy Samberg, right? And I got to say, um, I watched it and I was like, you know what? This will be a good opportunity, uh, you know, a good opportunity to, to do a car review again. So, in fact, I'm not leaving a movie theater. In fact, I just came out of my house and uh, I'm, I'm actually just sitting in my car just so I could do the review and then I'll just be going right back inside. So I'm actually not even going anywhere. So kind of ironic in that way. But... Uh, yeah, Palm Springs. Very, very good movie. I actually enjoyed it a lot. Good day so far? Today, tomorrow, it's all the same. You, what is going on? Hey, get out of the water! Guess you followed me. It's one of those infinite time loop situations you might have heard about. That I might have heard about? Yeah. Palm Springs stars Andy Samberg and Christy Milioti, I believe is her name. Um, Andy Samberg plays a character named Niles. Christy Milioti plays a character named uh, Sarah, I believe. It also has J.K. Simmons. He plays a character named Roy. Uh, the movie uh, is basically Groundhog's Day but with, a, with an interesting twist, right? Um, so basically, uh, Niles, at the start of the movie, is already in the time loop. So the movie starts with him just doing his shtick, uh, trying to get Sarah to, uh, I guess, sleep with him uh, in the time loop. Um, so basically, the day starts over at the you know, every day it starts again. When he falls asleep, it starts again. When he dies, it starts again. Um, you know, not a very original idea. Um, and while he's in the desert with, uh, Sarah, um, a character named Roy played by JK Simmons tries to kill, uh, Niles. Uh, this prompts Sarah to follow Niles into this cave. She gets stuck in the time loop. Chaos ensues. The, the story is, it's, the movie's really cute. It's uh, quite adorable, actually. Um, thoroughly enjoyed the cuteness of it. Um, and actually, it's not, you know, it has a bunch of side characters that are quite funny. Uh, the whole movie takes place, you know, during a wedding. Um, and all, all the characters from the wedding, well, not really, really fleshed out, they shouldn't be. They're fleshed out enough to be interesting. Um, there's also some side characters that are there almost as comedy relief. Um, they go to this bar frequently uh, that are quite funny as well and, and quite lovable. Um, Roy is my biggest issue with this movie, played by J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons is great. He can do no wrong, in my opinion. I love him in almost everything he does. Uh, but my biggest problem with the movie is Roy himself. Not the performance of Roy. I thought the performance was fine. Uh, Niles and Roy, later on in the movie, uh, spoilers, spoilers, but still watch the movie. I mean, it's a comedy, so just go watch it to really enjoy it. But, you know, a little bit of spoilers, you know, Niles and Roy have a real heart to heart later on in the movie. Um, I'm going to get into like some major spoilers here. Okay. Um, so Roy gets sucked in because 
he parties with Niles and Niles is like, yeah, dude, if you want to live this over and over and over again, come with me into the cave. So basically as a revenge fantasy, he just comes randomly and tortures Niles um, randomly. He'll kill him in nasty, horrible ways as revenge. Um, later on, uh, Roy gets crushed by Sarah. Um, after this happens, he spends time in the ICO, ICU, he dies. Niles says earlier in the movie that spending time in the ICU is the worst way to die because you feel pain. Even though the day resets, you still feel pain. After this happens, Roy doesn't hunt down Niles anymore. So Niles goes in to Roy and says, listen, man, I don't want to be tortured anymore. I'm finished with this. And Roy's like, okay, I get it listen, this is what my life is actually like. You, you see his family and he's like, I wish I could see my kids grow up. I wish I could see all this. Um, but then at the end of the movie, they find a way out, obviously. At the end of the movie, though, they leave Roy in the time loop. They don't even say, hey, let's go get Roy to get him out of this time loop. I'm sure he would enjoy getting out of this goddamn time loop. They don't even think about Roy. That's really fucked up. <laughs> in my opinion, but honestly, I think it was just an oversight of the filmmakers. Roy is not very flushed out at all. You don't see much of Roy. I wish you saw more of Roy. I think it would have added a lot to the movie, but on the whole, I think the movie is quite enjoyable, worth a watch. I drove all the way back home to Austin, and I still woke up here. One time I smoked a bunch of crystal and made it all the way to Equatorial Guinea. It was a huge waste of time. What this movie really makes me think is people who were young when those Judd Apatow rom-coms were coming out are now growing up and becoming filmmakers themselves um, and making those rom-coms but better. Um, I feel like this is very much in the, in the vein of Judd Apatow, but um, I'd say of higher quality even. And I'm a guy who loves like Knocked Up and 40-Year-Old Virgin. I, I love these movies, but... Uh, I would say that uh, this movie is a bit more, I, I don't know how to put it, like this movie has more heart um, and is very well shot. You could tell it was on a budget, but still they used the set pieces uh, that they had and really took advantage of it. Um, yeah, it's, it's really, really, really well done movie really well done uh it has like a 94 on 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 rotten tomatoes so well then what's the point of living we kind of have no choice but to live no i'm gonna get out of this suit yourself see you tomorrow um definitely definitely check it out it is a streaming on hulu um the chemistry between andy samberg and uh christy M miliotti uh, is wonderful. They have such great chemistry. Andy Samberg is actually quite funny in the movie. Actually, so is uh, so is the uh, Sarah uh, Christy Miliotti. She she is also quite funny in the movie. Um, yeah, definitely check it out. This is a short, quick review. That was the whole intention of these videos in the first place to be short ones. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching subscribe check out our podcast every uh monday is the jake and Corey show every tuesday is the loner gamecast uh bye, -bye.